The Supreme Court in 2012 held gender equity as an affirmative action right for women and gave Parliament up to August 27, 2015 to come up with legislation on how the one-third gender rule will be met in the 2017 general election. However, implementing the two-third gender principle has not been easy as those charged with the responsibility of making the change happen being sharply divided. But I expect support to come across the board. This is really a matter of conviction. It has nothing to do with the male or a female because there is no competition. It's not a competition between males and females. It is simply implementing a constitutional provision which is for the good of all of us. The Dwyer bill almost sailed through owing to the intense lobbying by women parliamentarians that saw them fall short of the requisite 233 members by only 38 members as 195 MPs supported it. Previous attempts have not gone that far. Aina Ibukoi, Member of Parliament, Samuel Chepkonga bill, which had pushed for progressive realization of the two-thirds gender rule, met stiff opposition. The constitution gave that principle in very clear language. Several clauses within the constitution support affirmative action, support and the section eight one particularly talks of not more than two thirds of one gender to occupy public office. So it's not ambiguous. The National Gender and Equity Commission also came with a proposal that would see realization of the gender rule through a parliamentary initiative instead of a referendum. There are proposals also to raise the number of women through nomination at the party level. As it is now, women parliamentarians have a week to not only retain the numbers of like-minded colleagues, but also bridge the small gap remaining if the gender rule is to finally see the light of the day. For Channel 1 News R, I'm Brenda Zedoradido.